I'm Zoe, and I've got three t-shirt cutting designs for you today, so welcome to my channel! For this DIY, you will need a long sleeve garment of your choice, I'm going to use a hoodie, a t-shirt, a pair of sharp scissors, a ruler, clothespins or safety pins help but are not completely necessary, and something to mark your clothing with. In this video, I will be using some strange terms to help describe what I'm doing, hopefully help describe what I'm doing. These are not real words, so here's some quick definitions. Vertical-ish. So vertical-ish lines generally run up and down. They might be slightly curved or diagonal though. Horizontal-ish lines generally go side to side, but they also might be slightly curved or diagonal. Hopefully that helps and doesn't just make things more confusing, but we're gonna jump right into our first tutorial, which will be shredded sleeves. This design works best on a loose fitting t-shirt. Put your shirt on inside out and make two marks on the collar about the width of your neck. Take your shirt off and lay it down flat, still inside out, and make sure all of the edges and seams on the front line up with the ones on the back. Grab your ruler and make sure your collar marks are the same on both sides. Now, starting from one of your collar marks, draw a horizontalish line to the end of the sleeve on that side, maintaining the same distance from the top of the shirt. Repeat this on the other side. Then use your ruler to make sure both sides are the same and then make any needed adjustments. Starting at the top vertical-ish shoulder seam on either side, measure out and mark a 2 cm wide section with the seam in the center. From those markings down to the horizontal-ish line we just drew, draw two parallel lines downwards following the seam to make sure it stays centered. This vertical-ish seam must stay intact. You should have two short vertical-ish lines Starting from the inner one going inwards, measure and make marks two centimeters apart along the top of the shirt, stopping at the collar. Do the same thing from the outer line, making marks two centimeters apart all the way down to the edge of the sleeve. Trace the edge of your collar from your original collar marks to the top of your shirt. Continue to make more vertical-ish lines 2 cm apart between the collar line and the shoulder seam lines. You may need to adjust spacing and curve the line slightly to fill the space. Then, continue to make more vertical-ish lines from the shoulder seam lines down to the end of the sleeve. Repeat that whole process on the other sleeve. Now it's time to cut. Make sure the seams and edges are still perfectly lined up, then starting on either side and cutting through both layers of fabric, cut off the hem at the end of the sleeve using one of your vertical-ish lines as a guide. Then start cutting along the vertical-ish lines and stop cutting when you reach the original horizontal-ish line. Continue to cut slits in the sleeve along each vertical-ish line, from the bottom of the sleeve to the collar. Now stretch each strip of fabric by pulling on them. Careful not to pull too hard because you don't want to break them. Now 
Repeat on the other side to finish. I styled this shirt by tying the bottom in a knot. Our next tutorial is woven sleeves. So start with the shredded sleeves from the first tutorial. And just try to ignore my black undershirt strap, it's going to be confusing. So focusing on one side, you're going to grab the strip of fabric directly below the collar. Take that strip and bring it up underneath the collar, then pull it over and downwards, making it a sort of loop. Now through that loop, grab the next strip of fabric, the third one down, and pull it up through from underneath and downwards so you can then grab the next strip. Continue this all the way down to the bottom. Then use the clothespins to hold the strip in place for now. Now, that was a little confusing, so let's break it down again for the other side. Grab the strip of fabric directly below the collar strip. Now take that strip and bring it up underneath the collar, then pull it over and downwards making a loop. Now through that loop, grab the next strip, the third one down, and pull it up through the loop from underneath and then downwards so you can grab the next strip. Continue this all the way down to the bottom. Then use the clothespins to hold the strips in place. At this point you can do some adjusting if you'd like, but we're going to talk more about that after. Take your shirt off and lay it down. Turn the shirt so that one of the sleeves is in the center. Remove the clothespin and if it unravels at all, just reweave those strips. Pull the bottom loop downwards and cut it in half. Now grab either half and tie it in a knot around the base of the strip above it. Double the knot and then trim the ends. Do the same with the other half. Then do the same thing with the other sleeve. Put your shirt back on and adjust the weave by pulling on the strips and spreading them apart. Make sure both sides are even. 
I like to make the weave narrower up top and then wider towards the end of the sleeves. Our last tutorial is long sleeve cutouts. I will be using a hoodie for this design, but you can use any long sleeve garment. First put your shirt, or whatever you have, on inside out, and mark where your collarbones hit the collar, or the seam, of your top. Then mark just above your elbows. Now take it off and lay it down flat, still inside out. And starting with either sleeve, lay it out perfectly flat, making sure the seams in the front and the back line up. Find your elbow mark and move it to the front. Then start drawing a horizontalish line from your collar mark, aiming towards the center of the sleeve, maybe a little bit higher. Then when you get a few centimeters away from the elbow mark, Curve it upwards to meet that mark at the top of the sleeve. I curved the whole line very slightly downwards. Now grab your ruler and measure a three centimeter wide section at the top of the sleeve with the verticalish shoulder seam in the center. This seam must stay intact. So draw two straight verticalish lines from those marks all the way down to the original horizontalish line, keeping them parallel. This is our first strip. Now centered between this strip and the elbow mark, draw another parallel strip, also three centimeters wide. Then draw a straight line parallel to your strips just under your collar because it also must stay intact. Then add one more three centimeter wide strip parallel to and centered between the line we just drew and the shoulder strip. Repeat that whole process on the other sleeve. Now it's time to cut around our strips. Make sure the seams are still lined up, then cutting through both layers of fabric, Cut along all the verticalish lines of the strips, just down to the original horizontalish line. Then, starting at the elbow mark, start cutting out the sections between the strips cutting along the original horizontalish line, but skipping the three centimeter wide strips so that only the strips are left attached. Repeat this process on the other sleeve to finish. And that is it, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more, you can follow me on Instagram, at unorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here, or watch another video by clicking over here.